In the first episode of The Mandalorian Season 3, Grogu looks out of the window in hyperspace and observes the silhouettes of some large creatures flying beside Mando, begging the question, what are these creatures? These creatures are actually large space whales called Pergil, which were introduced in Star Wars Rebels. The Pergil were a semi-sentient species of whale, which had bluish purple, grey and yellow skin, which was brown and grey when depleted of Clauson 36, tentacles, which glowed when jumping to hyperspace, multiple fins, blue eyes, which could glow, bulbous heads, large mouths with round teeth inside, whisker-like organs below the mouth, and protrusions on the top of the head. They were on average 30 metres, or 98 feet, long, and 5.5 metres, or 18 feet, tall, although they could vary more in size, like one of the Purgils seen in the Rebels episode, The Cool, named to the Purgil King. An interesting thing about the Purgil is that they could travel through hyperspace. This was done through breathing in the gas, Clauson 36, which they metabolized into hypermatter fuel, used for entering hyperspace. In fact, this ability to enter hyperspace was thought to have inspired scientists to find a way of entering hyperspace themselves. The Pergil also travelled in groups called flocks, pods or swarms. On top of the regular Pergil, there was a subspecies called Pergil Ultra. This subspecies were similar to the regular Pergil, but they had more distinctive protrusions on the top of their heads more whisker-like organs below their mouths, and were a lot bigger. Being around the length of half of an Imperial-class Star Destroyer, making them about 800 metres long. In regard to the Pergil seen in The Mandalorian, I thought it was worth mentioning that their sizes appear irregular. A Naboo Starfighter, like Din Djarin's ship, is 11 metres long, showing by comparison that the biggest pergil in the background is far longer than the average 30 meters, but likely not 800 meters like a pergil ultra. It may just be that the pergil vary greatly in size naturally, or that this shot makes the pergil appear larger or smaller than they are, but I thought this was worth briefly discussing. Anyway, what does the appearance of the Pergil mean for the Mandalorian, and the other shows in that era? Spoiler warning for Star Wars Rebels. Well, at the end of Star Wars Rebels, Ezra Bridger and the Rebels called a large amount of Pergil to Lothal, to destroy the Imperial forces over the planet. And while the Pergil were there, Ezra used the force to control three of the Pergil Ultra, he then made them fly him and Thrawn away into hyperspace, leaving both of their locations unknown. In The Mandalorian Season 2, Thrawn was name-dropped by Ahsoka. Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? And the Ahsoka show appears to be following on from Star Wars Rebels. So I believe that these space whales are a hint to the future and the return of Jedi Ezra Bridger. Anyway, that's it for this video, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you later at Volt Holocron.